What is going on YouTube, that's a family, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe for all the latest UK media updates and story videos. So we are doing a giveaway to our monthly subscribers, all you got to do to enter is subscribe. So don't forget to push that subscribe button for your chance to win an Xbox One or Playstation 4 this month. Say 0161, you say money on the map. So Bugsy Malone is worth 2 million. That doesn't sound like a lot because they're getting millions of views on YouTube, but a lot of rappers have not got millions in their bank account like Bugsy Malone. And a lot of smart investments. He's so inspirational because he has come from literally nothing and a very tough background. I've got a small clip and video I'm going to play on this intro to his story. I'm still talking about, I'm going to make it the story video of a documentary of his music rise and everything. I'm going to talk about how he got rich in this and his sort of rise to becoming a millionaire. This is a little snippet of how he grew up and where he come from in his clip he breaks down going through things seeing his mum getting beaten up him and his little sister having to witness that and how hard his childhood was yo i thought i'd hop on here real quick to drop you a, a message you get me i just wanted to fucking be real with you real quick because i play too much on this social media thing and i'm thinking about it and i'm thinking hmm could i be humiliating somebody that i spent eight years of my life with so i thought i'd hop on here um and just break something down for you real quick as a kid i, I witnessed a bad divorce between my mum and my mum's ex-boyfriend ex-husband whatever a bad divorce and it was bad there was drinking domestic violence bad to the point where my, you know my little sister struggles with it i struggled with it i ended up in jail age 16 and i was a, like a pretty good kid growing up um, you know, I see my mum with a broken nose, black eyes, fucking scars where they needed stitches, police round at the house all the time, domestic violence. And that's because two people stayed together that didn't make each other happy. Okay? So I grew up in that war zone. Life was a war zone internally, let alone when I went to school. Nobody does this like I do Even MC Hammer can touch this Nobody does this like I do I do, I do Turn into the devil like I can Into the devil I turn, that's madness Nobody's loco like I am, I am I am Bugsy Malone's first proper rise to earning his fortune would come from the law of attraction. He said he would draw pictures of his house and really vision his future and everything he pictured he began to get. Law of attraction is a very very good thing to get into. If you guys know about it you can meditate, look up videos on YouTube, start to picture things in your mind and you can attract them if you put enough effort in. Obviously you've got to put the work in too and things like him getting the most viewed fire in a booth to this day. Things like him having a battle back and forth with Chip. And even though Chip was a way bigger artist at the time, um, Bugsy Malone was getting more views than him and he would manifest more and more positive things and money was just one of them things that would come when you're starting to have positive manifestations in your life and really picturing what you want. And um, I started reading The Secret about the Law of Attraction and I looked into that and, and, and I had an, an understanding of that and um, I'm a visual learner so therefore I visualise things and and I just kind of learned that with the correct level of positivity and the the right amount of like consistency in, in the belief um, process, it, these things kind of drop into place. And I just done it with small things at first, like even getting my driving license, you have to understand that I, I didn't do my GCSEs. So I, I didn't necessarily know what test sheets look like. I've done little things in school, but as an adult, you think, you're right, but this is going to be dead hard. But little things like, bam, I got my driving license and then I got... And these were little things under my belt where I was taking baby steps. I remember telling myself the motto was the tortoise and the hare. Because a lot of people around me had more money than me and I thought, I'm just going to keep plod plodding on. I'm going to picture where I want to um, be um, and, and then I'm going to get there. I attracted that to myself and then I done it. Away from music and charting and smashing hit after hit song when he first broke out and getting crazy numbers on YouTube, Bugsy Malone set up a clothing label that bangs. He had a partnership with JD and Supply and Demand and his tops are being seen everywhere. Very, very nice style and good at promoting it too. This guy's branding is everything. With artists, you can create a whole brand for yourself or you can be an artist. And Bugsy Malone definitely went the route of creating a whole brand for himself. And that's what he's done with his clothing. You will see guys wearing it on a casual thing that don't even listen 
listen to his music. He's broke and transcended music in terms of money and his clothing label is a big part of that. Obviously he's got other business ventures as well and a lot of stuff he keeps under wraps and private. That's the best thing to do with a lot of your business. Show some of it and create that law of attraction but don't show everyone everything you're doing. Then people will try to ruin bits and pieces. So Bugsy Malone transcended music. In terms of business, one of the wittiest people I've seen in the UK in terms of creating a brand and really getting that attraction of money from outside of music. But now I'm getting to a putting things right. You get what I'm saying? In my life, family wise and, and yeah, like this album what I've made, like I've made this for you lot, innit? Like I've not made Yeah, like I've I've not made this for financial gain. That's been done in it. That I'm I'm one of the most wealthiest MCs. Like look, I'm 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 one of the best paid MCs in the whole game. The whole game. I still ain't got a chain with my fucking name on it. Like, I don't give a shit. I put my money into the correct things. You, half of the shit I've done, you aren't on camera. You ain't seen the, the investments that I've made. So I'm one of the most wealthy MCs. So this album, I ain't done this for financial gain. I've done this to give something back. The album's called Be Inspired. By the time you finish listening to this album, yeah, you're listening to a tutorial how to go from zero to somebody in life. And that's what I've done this for. I want to motivate and inspire the people that have supported me. That's why I made this. That's why I've, 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 I've even gone and put myself through all of this process sitting in the studio for hours, fucking millions of shows. It, it gets difficult. So Bugsy Malone's net worth is currently 2 million but I think in the future we'll see him transcend that and become one of the richest rappers we've ever had in the UK. His inspirational work ethic and everything about him, his charisma and his ability like I say to create a brand for himself is going to pay off in the future. Is there not many people that's really bust like that in terms of money in the UK but I can do some American guys and a lot of inspirational rappers like Jay-Z. If you want to see that leave a comment or leave a like on who you want to see next. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. The force with you, yeah. Now, see everything what I've got, yeah. I aim to get all of this shit. The cars, the, the house, the level of dough I've got and all of that. But then what, when, I, when I got there, yeah, I realised I'd aim too long. So you just stuck with this, like, what the fuck do I do next? And you see it happen to fighters, the aim, the life ambitions to get a certain belt. They get the belt and then they just fall off, become alcoholics. That's not the fucking goal, yeah. Now, if you look at alligators, yeah. They're the last standing species from the dinosaur days. T-Rexes and all that don't exist no more. Alligators do. Why? Because they kept evolving. So that's the key. Evolution. When you get to your goal, set small goals first. And then when you get to the goal, evolve. Do you get what I'm saying? And plan to go over to the next level. Do you know, do you know what I mean? Don't, don't stop. Just because you arrive at the destination, don't stop. Plan a new destination. Call up now, gym time. Let's bounce. Obviously, a lot of people always ask me that, like, how how come you still boxing? That you're looking to fight again and all that. And I'm like, obviously, not really. No, but obviously, there's a there's a lot of man out there that fucking think I'm famous. I forgot about this thing. So when I see them, they're gonna be like, "Yo, bro, good to see you've done well." And I'm just gonna be like, boo, 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 boo. so. That's it, really, innit? Just trying to get ready for them, really, and make sure that everything runs smooth and that. Like, you get me? God, it's going to be gone tomorrow. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no, I win. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs>
Oh, oh, oh.